Post Haste is one of the very best file management apps I have ever used and the very best part is it is completely free. What Post Haste does is it allows you to create a template which you can duplicate over and over again, have all of your files auto named for you so that you can get to editing your projects as quickly as possible. This video is not sponsored, nor do I get any sort of affiliate commissions if you download this app. I just think it's super helpful and wanted to share it with all of you. If we open up Post Haste, the window will look something like this and the real power from Post Haste comes in its templates. If we go on over into the templates, you'll notice that they actually have a bunch of pre-made templates for you so you can kind of get an idea of what it can do. I also have my own template here that I have created which has all the folder structures that I need but let's go ahead and build one from scratch. What we're going to do is click on this add button for the template and we can name this template whatever we like. From there we could come over to the right side click this add button to add a new folder. Now that is definitely a great way to do it but I personally really like to build my template directly inside of finder and then drag it over into post haste. So let's go ahead and create a new folder on our desktop and I don't actually need to name that folder. We'll jump inside of it and in here we can go ahead and create all of the folder structures that we might possibly need. I'll create a new folder for my projects, footage, audio, you could even do stuff like graphics but for the sake of this tutorial I'll keep it short and just call it exports. Now inside of each of these folders we could add another folder structure so we could go inside of footage we could have a cam, b cam, and you could even do the same inside of your audio folders, your export folders, really pretty much anything you could possibly need. From there comes a super duper powerful tool from Post Haste. Inside of this projects folder, what we could do is open up Final Cut Pro. We're gonna create a new library, file new library, and I'm going to name this library bracket project name, and then close that off with the bracket. We'll go to our desktop and locate that folder we created and locate the projects. In there, I'll push save. Now by labeling it as project name, Post Haste is going to know to auto rename this every single time we create a new project. After that, we could create a new timeline and I'll just call this project name. Now what's really cool is we could even import different images or videos that we use in every single project and they're going to show up in all future projects that we create. So I'll push command I, I'll go ahead and locate this logo image that I want to use in every single project. We could even go as far to add new events or keyword collections that we could see in every future project. So I'll push command K to add a new keyword. I'll just call this logo. So now that I've done that, if I open up my event, we can see that that logo keyword is there. All I need to do now is close this out. It will be located inside of that untitled folder that we created. So I'll open that up, jump inside of post haste, and we'll just drag all of these folders into our template. It's going to populate that up. You'll see it says project name, not FCP bundle, a cam footage, B cam footage, so on and so forth. We can go on over into new project. We'll change our project template over to the subscribe template. We can leave our project number of whatever we like, and this is going to automatically increment as we create more projects. Moving further down, you can set who the client is, and all of this will actually populate down here at the bottom. So let's say this was for Digital Rebellion. You'll see how that adds it down here at the bottom as part of the title name. Now, I don't want that, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. We could set the project name as whatever we like. I'm gonna leave it as subscribe, and then we could even add in stuff like an editor or date. And if you wanted more fields to add to this that can populate inside of your project name, you could go on up to post haste settings under the parameters menu, we could add in more parameters and you can get extremely granular with this. It would take me forever to show everything you could do. Or if you're tired of needing to always delete specific info, you could go ahead and just clear that out. I'll remove that parameter. We could add it in again later. So now that we've done that, I can close this out and you'll see that the date no longer shows up here. I've got my title name in, my project number. Let's go ahead and just create the project. We'll add that to the desktop. And now if I open up this project, you'll see that the project name has automatically been named as subscribe. And in here, you can see that that logo is already enabled with it having its keyword collection, which is really, really nice. And then we also have a setup project. Now, unfortunately, I'm not aware of a way to make it so it automatically names this project, but it, by leaving it as project name, you can clearly see when you need to rename it yourself. 
So that is just a quick look at what post haste can do. Again, I am not sponsored in any way. If you want to support the channel, maybe check out my plugins down below. Also, you might be interested in checking out this video where I show you a really, really powerful app that has 10 X my editing speed in Final Cut Pro. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.